But we begin tonight at 9 with our big story. With no end in sight for evacuated residents, tests are still finding high concentrations of that dangerous chemical TCE at community within the corridor apartments. Madeline O'Neill live in Milwaukee. All right, Maddie, what exactly is TCE? Let's start there. I mean, it's a good question because a lot of us have never run into this. Basically, it's used as a degreaser for metal, so you'll find it in a lot of uh, manufacturing plants. It seeps into the soil. I just learned today, too, it also used to be used as an anesthetic that you would breathe in. Obviously, now we know that's not such a good idea. But when we're talking about chemicals like this and safety around them and dealing with them, we thought, what better place to go than a place where someone works with chemicals every day? If we didn't have this, the whole lab would smell. Marquette Assistant Professor of Chemistry Joe Clark knows you have to keep an eye on what you can't see. We have air that's constantly being replaced in here, and same with here. He says when it comes to safety around chemicals like TCE, ventilation is a key part of the formula. Adding that TCE usually leaves your body after about a day once you're away from it, but it can have long-term health effects. This is something we need to be very conscious of just in this laboratory. Not just in the lab where he works. Monitoring TCE levels is critical where people live, too. If you build a structure on top of an area that's contaminated with TCE, then you can expect for sure that TCE is going to be coming up into that building. That's what testing has found at the east block of the community within a corridor apartment building, where mitigation systems haven't been able to keep TCE at what's considered safe levels by the DNR. 2.1 micrograms per cubic meter. An April report from CWC partners sent to the DNR shows TCE levels high above that. 350 micrograms per cubic meter in one unit and 8,000 micrograms per cubic meter in the hole of a wall in another unit. The report says the main cause has been identified. Pathways for vapors to move through holes and cracks in the building and an ineffective mitigation system. The DNR is monitoring CWC as well, issuing an emergency order requiring the developers to submit documents to the DNR about how they're addressing the chemical. That's an order enforceable through prosecution by the Attorney General. There is definitely a way for engineers to to make it possible to be monitoring. At the lab, Clark says careful TCE vapor monitoring and mitigation will need to continue at the apartment building as long as people live there. As long as that building stands there, for sure. I mean, that the TCE is not going away. <laughs> We now know that residents that are displaced right now are not paying rent while they're gone. We learned from a statement from CWC today that they are putting them up in hotels. They're also giving them stipends for food and transportation. They also say they're working closely with the DNR to find a solution to all of this and get people home as soon as possible. They just don't know when that will be right now. Live in Milwaukee, Madeline O'Neill, Fox 6 News. That was very informative. All right, Maddie, thanks.